Here we have 4.5 factoring a quadratic with leading coefficient greater than 1, problem type 1. So this is where we now have a number in the front. And so this is a little bit harder than, um, I mean, you could guess and check, but I just don't like, I don't think that guessing and checking is a legitimate method to, um, to factoring. So I don't ever guess and check and tell someone to, to execute the problem that way. Um, if you get great at guessing and checking, then fantastic. I mean, I'm not going to count it against you. If you know how to factor, you know how to factor. But um, for those of us that can't just look at that and know what the answer is, um, like eventually, once you get really, 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 really good at factoring, um, you would know that that's going to be the answer. Okay, so you could eventually get there, okay? Eventually. It's not going to happen right away, and especially if you're not used to factoring these guys, it's not going to happen that fast, okay? Um, so what you need to do is you need to do what we call the AC method. So you think of this is A, this is B, and this is C. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take A times C. And what is 3 times a negative 7? That's negative 21. I want to figure out what multiplies to give me 21, but adds to give me the middle term B, which is negative 4. So this is AC, A times C, and this guy is B. So I am using everybody, okay? So then when you go over here to do the list of 21, it's 1 times 21, 2 times, nope, not 2, 3 times 7, 4 won't go in evenly, 5 won't go in evenly, 6 won't go in evenly, and 7's already on the list. So that's it. I only have four options, or two groups, right? Which one of these will subtract to give me 4? That's going to be 3 and 7. So, but I need to get a negative 4 when I, come, when I add these together, which means this guy's going to have to be negative. And then if that's negative, it needs to be the same up top. And so double check. Is 3 times negative 7 equal to negative 21? Yes. Is 3 plus negative 7 equal to negative 4? Yes. So these are the two numbers that I'm going to need to be able to factor this problem out. Okay. But what I do with them is interesting. It's not like the problems where this wasn't here. Once I had those what it called magic numbers, you could just put them into the parentheses and you were done with the problem. Here what I do with them is completely different, okay? Because the A is affecting everything. Before I would just use C, not A. A is going to affect stuff. So what we do with these numbers is we actually use this line here. And since I have negative for Z, it's actually a Z here, if this had a Z and this had a Z, then when I combine them, I get that negative 4Z. So what we're going to do is we're going to use these two terms to rewrite this middle term. So I'm going to keep my 3Z squared. I'm going to keep my minus 7 on the end. And all I'm going to do is split up this minus 4Z. I'm going to use positive 3Z and negative 7Z since those are the numbers I found over here. And I do have to keep the same variable that's here on both of those numbers. Now it's four terms, which means I can factor by grouping. So this side has a 3 and a z in common. And when I factor that out, I end up with 1z left and a 1. Here I'm going to bring down the minus sign. I can factor out a 7 from those two terms. And when I divide by a negative 7, I get a positive z. When I divide that by a negative 7, I get a positive 1. They do have the z plus 1 in common. And if I factored that out, I'd have 3z minus 7 left over. Now notice that this factorization is equivalent to this factorization. The only difference is the order of the factors. And it doesn't matter whether you do 2 times 3 or 3 times 2. Both of these will equal 6. Okay? So it doesn't matter what order my factors are in, as long as that factor is the exact same as this one, and this factor is the exact same as this one, they're both correct, okay? So it doesn't matter which one you type into Alex, Alex will accept both, okay? Um, but at least now we have a method to doing these problems, and 
not just left in the dark to try to figure it out on our own.